It's Juneteenth. I got the catfish and the mustard. We're about to make a sandwich. Let's get it. The reason why you see this catfish with mustard already is because I started my video with my mic on mute. So I had to restart the whole video and I'm so pissed off about it. But go ahead, put you some catfish in a bowl and then you're gonna add some mustard to it. If you wanna add some buttermilk, cool. If you wanna add some egg, cool. Anything to make it bind. Now it's time for the seasonings. I got some Tony's with no salt. So I can shake, 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 shake. We're doing a little bit of Old Bay. Add you some garlic powder. Garlic powder is a must. And then we're gonna put a little bit of salt on there. Just a little You bit. see how the mustard helps? Y'all see that? You see how I put the seasoning and the sticking all on the mustard and the fish? That's why you want something wet. Also, if you let it sit for like 10 to 15 minutes, especially when you do it in buttermilk, ooh wee, helps with the tenderness and the flavor. Now we're gonna work on our batter. I'm gonna put a little cornmeal in our baking dish. Same thing I put on my fish, I put it in my batter. So let's do the same thing that we did. For every cup of cornmeal that I use, I use a quarter cup to a half cup of flour in the same mixture. Go ahead and put that in there. Go ahead and coat our catfish. We're looking for a temp of 350. Let's go ahead and drop our catfish and drop it slowly. I got two pieces of bacon. I'm gonna put that on the bottom. I'm gonna take a tomato, put it on top of the bacon. Take you a piece of lettuce, put it on top of the tomato. Take your beautiful piece of catfish and place it right on top of that lettuce. You know where the recipe at? It's always in the same spot. Oh, we got the catfish BLT sandwich for the win. 